What's up guys, how you're doing? Welcome to another video. So today we are talking about editing sports photos. I get asked loads of questions around editing, uh, like, you know, to do with kind of how do I edit them? What programs do I use? Um, you know, like how do I crop photos? Uh, do I change the colors? I get asked all kinds of questions. So today we're going to look at editing some sports photos. I'm going to show you a few photos. I think we've got six we're going to look at right here in Lightroom. Talk you through the process, talk you through why I'm doing what I do, and you're actually going to watch along on the screen and see what I do. So I think it should be interesting for you. If you're looking at developing your editing of your photos, or perhaps you've never edited photos before and you'd like to learn something about it. Going to be a great video. Let's go. Before we get into the video itself, guys, please take a second for me. Go hit that thumbs up button, like the video. As you probably already know, it helps me out loads on the channel. It helps my video and it helps my channel to be more successful. So I appreciate you taking that two seconds to go hit the like button. You should also, whilst you're there, hit the subscribe button. 66% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. Uh, I don't know why, maybe I'm upsetting 66% of you guys, but hopefully you'll consider it. Go hit that subscribe button, loads of other videos to come on my channel, which hopefully you will enjoy. Don't forget to go check me out on my social media channels. You can find me over on Instagram. I'm just going to put them on the screen right here. I won't talk through them. You can find me on Twitter as well. That's right here. Go check out the Patreon group as well. We're developing that right now. Um, we've got our Facebook group coming together, which is really cool. I think we've still got like another one place in the Patreon group um, for people who want to get hold of one of the free prints. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back a couple of videos and watch the one about the new announcement on the channel and the community stuff, um, and you'll see what's going on there. Right, let's get into editing some photos. So probably just should just touch on a couple of basics before we actually do it. My, my very simple process, um, mainly because I'm trying to work fairly quick when I'm editing sports photos, especially if I'm doing them live. Now, some of what I do in here, I wouldn't necessarily do. Like we've got a kind of portrait one, which I'm probably going to turn black and white. I wouldn't necessarily do that if I was sat live pitch side. But the basic edits are still the same. My process is going to be getting my crop right to make sure I'm happy with my composition making sure my horizon is level and straightening the image if it needs it. Then we focus on colors, stuff like that. Then we look at sharpening, any other specific bits we need to do, like any kind of filter or something like that. Um, and, and then we're pretty much done. So that's gonna be the process that we go through. Right, let's get into Lightroom uh, so you guys can see specifically what I'm talking about. Okay, and here we are in Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom. So I've picked uh, six different photos down here that we're going to work through. I've picked some kind of general sports photos like this, and I've picked a couple. Um, so this one here, for example, which is an absolute nightmare to photograph. And I thought I'd kind of do a bit of an example of, of how do you edit something that goes totally wrong. So let's start off with a few of the more general sports things. Now, the first thing I always do is crop and straighten my images. I do that first because I wanna get kind of the framing right on the image before I start to worry about the colors or anything else. So I'm gonna bring this one in uh, a fair bit closer than I actually shot it. Uh, that probably feels about right. It looks like it's pretty much straight already. Um, so yep, yeah, that's good. And now I'm happy, so I'm happy with the crop and the straighten. First thing and the typical thing I always do when it comes to the actual colors is I tend to um, tweak uh, the contrast. So just going to up the contrast to, oh, sorry, I keep changing image accidentally. Just going to up the contrast to probably like 20 maybe. That looks about right. Now what it has got on this image is an ever such slight yellow tinge. So I'm just gonna call the image down literally like one, you can, I don't know if you guys can see that, literally just one little notch and it changes it. The other way is a bit too warm, that's how it was. And that's about right, that's one um, little click caller. Gonna slightly, slightly tweak the clarity, like hardly much at all. Uh, my shadows and highlights and everything, I'm pretty happy with here. Maybe I'm just gonna bring the shadows up a couple of little clicks just to make sure I've got detail in this guy's face. And the only other thing I'm going to do is right the way down here is sharpen. And for me, um, just to give you guys an idea, if you bring this up to right up the top to 150, 
you kind of see it's almost way too sharp and everything looks too um it kind of almost looks slightly unrealistic like it's not real so for me probably let's stick this around like maybe around sort of about 75 let's go with somewhere around there and for me that image is pretty much done i'm happy enough with that so let's come over to the next image and we'll apply the same thing now this is an interesting one in terms of the crop because for me everything is too far over to the right now i'd be happy with it if they were moving from right to left but actually the movement in this photo is almost coming towards us uh with one Bissaka in here coming into tackle uh, against aspera laqueta so this is manchester united chelsea or, or chelsea man united this was stamford bridge so actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this a little bit more of not not quite a square but a slightly tighter rectangle like that probably about there yeah that feels about right now what you can do in this situation is you could actually copy across your settings from your first image to your second image the way you do that is you press control you click the other image so they're both selected and if i press sync down here on the right it will ask me which settings do I want to sync. I don't want to sync anything to do with white balance, but all the color, saturation, everything like that I'm cool with. So we press OK, and now it will have synced everything across. So that's how it looks uh, initially. Probably, in fact, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that one. I think that's pretty much good. You see, there's minimal happens with sports photos, right? Not a huge amount that you do. Let's come over here to this one because this is a good example. Right, here is a good example of something where I'm going to say don't be afraid to crop. There's nothing wrong with cropping in quite close. Now what you could do, the temptation might be to crop it like this and leave Tom Kearney in the background here. But for me, this image is about Joe Bryan and I'm not sure who this is. So I'm actually going to crop in even closer than that and I'm going to bring it in like uh, here. And it just needs straightening slightly to about there. There you go, that's the image for me. So look, I've really cropped that, right? People are thinking, whoa, like you shouldn't really have to crop photos that much. Like, why not? There's no harm, right? Everything's still sharp in there, so I'm happy enough with that. Now, a few bits we're going to do here. I'm not going to copy the settings from the other one because this one requires a little bit of different work. I'm going to increase the exposure on this first up because it's just slightly too dark. Uh, and then I'm just going to bring up the shadows slightly because I don't want the highlights any brighter than they are. In fact, I'm going to turn down the highlights probably one notch. About there is good. Okay. And then I think so we're going to sharpen again. To about 70. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think for me, uh, I tell you, the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of a radial filter just on this guy's face where we're just gonna oh okay hang on I didn't invert the mask you just need to invert the mask to make sure it's editing the stuff inside the circle rather than outside uh, there we go about there cool that was good for me happy with that right let's move on let's do uh this one so here we go so look another one that we're not going to be afraid to crop in all right so now i think you know what actually i tell you what we're going to do i was going to say we'll probably leave this guy in but we're going to go for real extreme we're going to come right in on this one into here needs straightening so we just want to get that horizon straight when i've done my critique videos i've talked a lot about straightening right you guys see what i mean it's something which i'm really trying to trying to push on to you guys make sure you straighten your images uh boom there we go cool yeah good right so same again we're just going to tweak up our contrast a little bit first that's where we're going to start the contrast probably not too much on this one shadows are pretty much okay going to give it a little bit of clarity um now this one i'm going to tweak the vibrance slightly on this and in fact, that just makes me realise, did I do the vibrance on this one back here? I don't think I did. Let me just make sure I'd give that a little tweak. Uh, that's about it. We just want that yellow to pop, right? Don't want to go too far with it. So back over here to this image. Let's, you know, we need to come in slightly more from the left, I think. That feels about right. 
All good. We just need to sharpen again. Not too much on this one. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. Right, we're getting there. So, let's look at this one. The reason I picked this one out is because it's a fairly straightforward image. Now, when I'm sending out during games, I don't tend to do anything to, uh, I guess, what we would call artistic. I tend to stick, like, pretty much straight to, um, you know, colour images, trying to tell the story. But every now and again, you can do something a little bit different. And this image here, this struck me as an opportunity to almost do something a little bit portrait-like. So first thing again, as per always, we're going to crop in first. And what I want is I want to get right in the middle. This is uh, Cavalero from Chelsea. Anyone who's not familiar with him, Willie Cavalero. Just want to get him smack bang in the middle of the image like that. Now, I think this would look good in black and white. So the way I do black and white is I tend to pick the... Um, black and white landscape preset in Lightroom and then I play with it from there because that turns the image black and white but for me that doesn't do enough. I'm going to bring up the exposure because I want to get the exposure set for his face. Let's not worry too much about the background because I'm going to play with that anyway. Um, let me just turn the shadows down a little bit because see what happens to the background when I'm playing with the shadows? I want to try to get those down a bit. I want a bit to see a bit of crowd, but not too much. And then the highlights again. Now you see this is going to go all the highlights up. I just want to bring them down ever so slightly because you see when it's... It's interesting, right? Because when it's about there, his face has got about the right exposure. But for me, his jersey is too uh, bright. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it down slightly until I feel like the jersey is about right, which for me is probably about there. And then I'm going to use a radial filter just over his face just to make sure that we get his face bright enough it's going to make sure we invert it so it's only playing with the um, areas inside and get it to there we go probably about right perfect good right that's a good start now from there i want to make this fairly contrasty so i'm going to probably bring the contrast up to about 25 there we go um Clarity actually not too far up now. Where I'm going down, down here into the post crop vignetting. Now I'm going to add this because with black and white photos, I don't, I, I like it to really pop in the middle of the image. So you see what I'm doing here, right? This is turning the outside of the images black. You can go the other way and make it brighter. We don't want to do that. I'm going to bring it down to probably about there. That does it for me. And then I, I feel like it's not quite straight. I want him to be straight. The goalpost is straight, but I want him to be straight. So I'm just going to tweak it a little bit. The goalpost is maybe going to look off, but yeah, for me, that looks better. Uh, and in fact, I need to just crop in slightly more because I feel like he's not quite in the middle of the image. There we go. Done. Happy with that. Right. My last example I thought would be something um, that is a real pain to edit. Now, when do you end up in this situation? The answer is a goal celebration has run, run the wrong way. Now, this was a massive moment because this was a goal in the last minute of the game, I think even in injury time, that meant Fulham won. And Mitrovic ran to the opposite corner, which meant for me he was behind the goal. So total nightmare, right? This goal celebration is going to be the story of this game. And it's run off away from me to somewhere where I can't photograph it. So what have I done? I've tried my best. <laughs> I tried to get a photograph through the goal net. I've managed to get the focus right. It's pretty, yeah, I've got the focus just about there. Um, but right now the image looks horrendous, right? Like you couldn't send that into someone. So what could you do? Well, first of all, we're going to do the usuals. We're going to crop it in much closer. Um, and for me, we need to be kind of focusing about here now what do i do with the security guard because he's annoying he's distracting he's got his high vis as does this guy the trouble is if i try to crop him out it's just going to be too close and the image won't really make sense so i'm just going to have to accept the fact he's there um and leave him in it i'm going to straighten it i'm going to use that goal post on the right hand side as my measure for it being straight and what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of make it so the image is about the players, but also about these guys in the crowd right here. So that's the crop. 
but it's still really kind of all over the place, right? Now look, here's a few things you can do. First of all, what, watch what happens when we play with the contrast. If we bring the contrast up, it brings those players in the background a little bit, but you see the fans in the background a bit better through the net. Same the other way, if we turn it down, they're almost, you can't see them. All the way up, you can see them a lot more. Now the trouble is, I don't want to turn that all the way up because it makes the image look crazy and um, like the guy in the high-vis vest is now kind of looks like he's a high-vis vest standing in the dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up a bit to probably, there you go, about 30. Now we come down here to the highlights, the shadows, the whites and the blacks. Now watch what happens if we play with the blacks. If we bring them down again, see how the guys in the background, now the goal net's almost starting to disappear. Same the other way and the goal net's right across. So what we're going to do, we're just going to bring it backwards a little bit. And at the same time, I'm going to turn that white down. And just going to bring the exposure up slightly. That's a bit too much. Slight tweak there. There we go. And and I think that's about right. I mean, it's still not a great image, right? It's I mean, it's, well, it's still a rubbish image, but but at least we've got the moment. We've got the big pile up celebration. You can see some of the crowd through. I'm actually just looking at this and thinking we could actually crop it in even slightly closer. Um, so I'm going to come in a little bit more here. I'm uh, going to bring it up here. Just straighten it out slightly more. Yeah, there we go. It's a bit better. So at least we've got an image of the moment, right? We've got a photo of the moment and we've got the, the key point. So just a quick recap, looking at a general sports photo, really all I'm looking to do is tweak the contrast a bit, adjust the shadows or the highlights if I need to, a little bit of clarity, a little bit of vibrance, crop. For me, mostly, I'm just making sure the image is framed right and I'm making sure it's straight. Like we talked about with this image over here, we don't need to be afraid when it comes to cropping. You can see we crop this one right in. Yeah, do some people frown upon that? Yes, they do. I don't care. <laughs> That's how we've done it, right? Cool. And those are some images edited in Lightroom. And that's that's how we do it. That's how I edit my sports pictures. There's loads of other specifics. And of course, there's loads of like um, specific skills that you could learn in Lightroom or even in Photoshop, which we didn't look at at all there today. Um, so we'll cover some of that in future videos. I'll get into some really specific topics. If you have a specific editing topic that you would like to look at, please do let me know. Comment below, let me know what your topic is, what it is you would like to learn a bit more about, and we can try and do a video specifically on that one. I hope you guys like this one. If you did, please take that second, hit the like button. Guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next video.